Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoover Lux. Welcome, assalamu alaikum, bienvenu, bienvenido, kroisui. Uh, I've done a video for a while, I did a little update video a couple of weeks ago. So today I'm making my first video. I have a number of vacuums to do some clean up and reviews and things off and some unboxings to do. Uh, here you can see I have a celebrity, I actually have three celebrities out of sight. I have this orange one here lent to me. I have my yellow one and I have another orange one that I bought for 99 pence a couple of weeks ago. So I'll go into the celebrities in a separate video. Today I have got two Kirby's to refurb, to refurb, yeah. Um, I've got the uh, G2000 limited edition and I've got a Ultimate, Kirby G Ultimate to refurb. The bags for both of them have been washed and cleaned and I've also cleaned the bag toppers. I, I basically I strip the bags down to everything and clean each part individually so it's completely and utterly clean. So I've done that so what I need to do now is to reassemble the bags. So first of all I'm going to separate them out into parts. So that's the grey, that's the grey, that's the grey, that's the hose and a topper and oop, and a bag topper and here I've got the various parts here for the limited edition 2000 G so these are all nice and clean I will use some um, actually I'll do it now and see if I can get rid of some of this um, markings on the side of it and what I'm going to use is some cutting compound. Here somewhere. There we go. So I've got some V36 cutting compound. I'm going to see if I can get rid of the marks off it. Okay, that's worked pretty well. I will do some more later, but just to give you some idea that uh, that this cutting compound does actually work pretty well. I will have to put some more elbow grease into it, but uh, I will do that later on. So I'll save this and do some more later. Right, first thing I have to do is put the hose back on. So I'm gently going to fit it over and then twist it on. is now twisted on very nicely and I need to secure it let me go get my these here I've got my cable ties so I think these will fit have to get some longer cable time. Just give me a minute. Here 
here we have some super long cable ties. Oh, the dogs are joining me. Hello, doggies. Oh, well, this is a three of you. Okay. So, I'm going to put my cable tie. on the right before I tighten it up completely. Snip off the excess. So there we go. That's one end cable tied on. Now I have to put the top on. Again, wiggle it on. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Make sure you've got it lined up properly. So the boot is there. And that is phasing out. Perfectly. Again, with a very long cable tie. I will tie this one on. Snip off the excess. And voila. So that is now on perfectly. Now I need to put it into the bag, so feed it through the bottom. Clip your tie loop on. Perfect. And feckle to get the bag on, which is always a bit of a battle, but not impossible. There we go. Once you get that first bit on, get on your bag up. There. So I just need to wiggle it on. And I'm going to use. Careful not to pierce it, that's the last thing you want to do. And I just use it gently to pull down with my thumb to pull it into place. it around so it's lined up at the back just move it around gently so you get it in the desired position just check There we go. That is now in the desired position. <clears throat> so I got the band. Well, it's like it's like the um, cable ties, but it's the cable tie for the band. Now 
I like to have the cable tie on the inside out of sight. That's just a personal preference. Now this cable tie is a bit loose, even though it's on tight. It feels a bit loose, but it's not going to come off. Alright, now I've done. Duh! I know why it's loose. Ha ha! Dorian, you idiot! Dorian, you're an idiot. Get my big screwdriver and take it off. I know what I've done wrong. I should have put this down. I should have put the second flap down. Fold it down. Because I haven't done a video for a few weeks, my mind's going jelly. Okay, try it again. Now put it around. Sure, it's on correctly. Okay. Bit of a faff, but I managed to do it. Okay, so there we go. Now I just need to put the bag topper on. Feed it through. And voila. Now I just need the bag. Yeah. Put the bag in. And zip it up. And there we go. That's the first boot put back together with the bag for the limited edition 2000 G series. So the next thing I'm going to do now is this one for the Ultimate G. Okay, I'm back with a change of shirt because the other one was a bit too tight and all my guts were hanging out. And that was just the doggies curled up in a little ball watching me. Um, so, let's do this one next. Again, I've moved the camera a bit closer this time so you can see it up close. 
putting the gloves on. I've spent the whole weekend. I've been on my own home. I've been on my own at home for uh, two and a half weeks. Uh, while the other half went to Australia to see his dad, we're both going over next year. So I got given a load of uh, old kitchen units for free. So I've been putting them up in the garage so I can store stuff better and um, just doing a general tidy up and organizing. So plus other stuff in the house as well. I've been decorating the utility room, organizing, moving stuff. Uh, I've moved my vacuums to uh, the small guest room, which is now the Hoover room, which I'll show later on in another video. Uh, once I put some shelves up so I can stack the Hoovers up on the shelf. So I've been busy doing lots of things. So I'm going to work on one of the Kirby's today in this video. I'm, I might do the 2001 actually. Um, and then I'm going to do an unboxing from Connor who sent me a vacuum cleaner ages ago and I haven't unboxed it yet so I'm going to do that unboxing. So first of all I'm going to put this together. So I got the hose here. I've checked the hose for any holes or splits and it's fine. I'm going to slide the tube over the foot of the emptor. There we go. Now this hose has a natural curve so I'm going to curve it forward because that way it fits in the bag easy so the so the curve goes forward. A lot of them are straight but these ones are a bit bent so I'm going to do that. So that is now fixed on perfectly. So I'm going to tie it on. Where did I put those ties? I've lost me ties! Oh yeah, they are. Take out two, because I'm going to need two ties. Okay, put the tie around. Now there's kind of like two loops. A lot of people put two um, ties on. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to be honest, it's entirely up to you. These nice strong good ties so... I'm just gonna make sure it's all lined up before I secure it. Oops, there goes a bottle of something. It's nice and tight. I'm going to snip the excess off. Now I need to do the same to the top, wiggle it on. And just make sure that it's facing the back of, you know, it's facing towards me opposite of the foot. There we go, see? Like that. That's on. Again, I'm going to use another cable tie. Make sure it's lined up. Tight. Snip it off. So there we go. So that's now fitted. The next feckle is to get it on the in the bag. I do like the colour of this. It's nice and bright. It smells lovely and fresh as well. This was absolutely manky. Both of them. This one and the um, the. 2000G, that was absolutely filthy. Feed it through. Now I found that if I clip it onto the front first and then stretch it over 
Well, that's fitted in really good, first go. And just wiggle the lip on. Oh wow, that's done really well. Just make sure that that is on. And I just have to make sure that it's, well, it's pretty much done it by itself. Make sure it's fitted on right. Yep, that'll do. So now I'm going to fold back this other part over it. This has got a couple of marks and a few minor splits on it. It's not going to cause it any detrimental issue. Okay, make sure that's tucked in nicely around. Fasten the tag. Done. Now I'm going to put this on it. Like I said, I like it on the inside. It's entirely up to you. Make sure that that's in properly. stubby end, push it in, there we go, that's in tight, I have my bag topper, perfect, and a bag, which I need to get, get some new bags. This is the last of this type I have. Slide it on. Twist. There we go. Mr. Bag is in. Tuck it in. Zip her up, and there we go. It's another bag and boot all clean and tidy. I will use some of my V36 on that as well to polish it up when I finish the rest. And there we go, that's done. Now, I did have one where this clip had broken, and it's really hard to find this clip really generally it's quite hard to find it in the UK and I was on eBay and there was a seller in the USA that was selling just these now what you would have to do basically if you bought another one exactly like this you would have to unstitch it and stitch it back in it's a pain in the ass what this seller has done is cut a groove there so you can actually feed this tab through it and then replace it easily, which I thought was pretty ingenious. So I bought about six of them. Um, they weren't expensive, and I thought, well, as I'm buying them from the USA and paying the shipping, it was the same price, so I bought six of these, so I have a, a number of these spare um, in case any of them break. But there we go, so that is the bag done. Now, the vacuum cleaner, the KB I'm gonna be working on is the 2000, so let me go and get it. Here she is, a bit manky, 
a bit dirty and a bit dusty. So, um, it needs the light replacing on it, but all in all, it's in really good condition, the motor and everything, the vacuum itself. The only thing that was broken on it, the cable is in good condition, the back plate is in good condition, was this, the tech drive lever, completely broken. So, and there's a couple of the caps missing off the wheels as well. See them there, the caps are missing. So what I've actually done is I bought a replacement uh, tech drive. Uh, this isn't it. I bought a replacement tech drive and the wheels with the caps as well. So I replaced that. Um, the rest of it is nice and clean and tidy, working fine. It just needs a good clean and polish. So the first thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is disconnect or take off the cable which is all knotted up on it at the moment, typical. Can't see what I'm doing up here, I'm just trying to take off the cable, there we go. And there's the handle. Let me put that to one side. This fortunately still has the protective sticker on it. So once I've polished it, I am going to take the sticker off because um, it's all scratched and I'm going to very rarely be using it. It's going to be for the collection, so I don't really care. I'm not going to scratch it up. So the first thing I'm going to do then screw the little cap at the back for the money box. Take the plate off and get rid of that hideous sticker. Next, where's my screwdriver? Undo this screw. Take the hook. Take the hook and the screw out. Remove the handle, and I'm going to clean the handle. And then this then I'm going to polish, nice and shiny. So that's the handle done. Next I'm going to take off the head. Is rather the brush roll is all right, but um, the inside's manky as hell. Release the rug plate, remove the bell, the brush roll, which is going to be a bit of a bugger because it's it is absolutely filthy. Ah. Gonna have to use more forms. This is well and truly. Gently, gently. Absolutely full of crud. The belt can go. These end caps. I'm gonna need clean in the brush roll. Like I said, is okay. I will. I will lubricate it a bit, but uh, the brush roll is in good condition. 
that. We'll give those a vacuum out. The inside of this is full of crud. So before I can polish it, I'm going to have to wash it to clean it. I don't think this has ever been taken off since it was bought. Oh, which by the way, is, so it's made in factory number four in the year 2000 in the month of July. So it was made in July 2000 in factory number four. I still wish I knew what factories were what. Absolutely manky. So I'm going to have to wash that first. Um, let me take off the brush roll indicator light mechanism. Which is absolutely caked in crud. Now, I need to take this off, that's why with the more modern ones it's better because you can see the, you can see where the hole is, I'm going to have to try and um, pick this off. So there's the screw hole there, I can feel it. Gently, ever so gently with my pick, just pull up the end and then use the screwdriver then to try and prise it off without damaging it. I'm going to use my smaller screwdriver. So gently peel off the sticker. Work your way around it bit by bit. It should come off without breaking it. Voila! There we go. Stick that to the side. Okay, now that gives me access to the screw, which is the large T screw. Some of these parts I'll wash by hand. I'm going to have to give that a vacuum out first. Let me get my vacuum on.
a power. nice and clean well it's poorly dusted out I will wash it to get rid of the rest of the crud and then I'll give it a good polishing so let's move to the main vacuum and to the main dismantling now Right, organized. Let's get dismantling. So I need to remove the cap of the power. cover off. Now I can unplug it there. There is a small screw holding it on here. Doesn't want to come out. There we go. Now, if I remove this, no, oh, undo the screw first. Lift it off. Then the plastic cover comes off, and also the cord. So the cord now is completely separated. Now I can move on to removing this top body part. So we've got two screws at the front.
we've got the two screws here. This should just pull off. It's very dusty in there. I'm going to remove the trims. And then the Oops. And then the main body was just fallen on the floor. That's going to go for polishing. It's very dusty. Okay, I'm going to remove the tank drive, which a piece of it has just fallen out of. Three screws underneath for the tank drive. I'm going to turn it over, the tank drive will fall out. I need to remove the switch. There we go. And then I'm going to wiggle the tank drive on the belt. That's the tank drive out. The tank drive itself works really fine. It's just got that part missing on it. Um, I will send it to the guy who I buy tank drives from, because I don't know how to refurb them, um, and he does. So I'll send that off to him so that he can refurb it and sell it on. I have no use for it, so I've already bought one, so help a fellow person. I will send that to him. I'll keep the belt, see if I need it or not. So I'm going to put this to one side, I'm not going to do any more to it. Okay, now we come to the body, and I'm going to take the hood off. Now, to do that, we've got screws in here. So glad these are magnetic. And holding this on is this down here. So I'm going to take these screws out as well. Now to get at the other screws, I'm going to take off the top. the two screws on the bracket. And that removes the small bracket which holds the um, light in place and then that's the mechanism for 
clamping the whole thing down. And I now need to do that. I need to gently prise open the lens cover, which comes out. And there we go, that's the light hood ready for polishing. Now you've got to be very careful removing this bulb housing because you do not want to snap it because I have done that. That's where these little pick things come in very handy. So that's the cover. Thankfully, I didn't break it. I mean, nominee Christie, amen. The bulb on it is knackered, so the bulb's going to go. And I'm going to update it with a nice LED one. So these little screws I'm going to pop in my box. Along with that, and that's the cover. So. Now, I need to move the faceplate. Five screws. Actually, I'm going to box because they need cleaning. ones on the vacuum. I'm going to get my large screwdriver and in the groove on this side pull it apart. Nice and easy. Now inside here is the safety switch cover. It's very easy to remove using a little pick and a push through. And a little plastic part comes out. Now I'm going to remove the wheels. <coughs> Two screws, one either side with a little metal bracket. And then slide the mechanism off. Now comes the pedal with the I keep the screw the um, spring separate but I wash the rest of it, clean it thoroughly because it gets very dirty. And now we have the front, all lovely, ready for cleaning and polishing. So now I'll move back onto this. The first thing I'm gonna do is take off this mechanism here. There's two screws down here for it. And then that slides off. I'm going to undo the switch there for the light 
and there's another one there that's going to come off so that frees the light wiring and then also frees the um, tech drive mechanism which really does thoroughly good cleaning now I'm left with the rest of it the motor the fan I'm going to see if I can remove this insert without breaking it if I see any signs that it's starting to break I'm not going to remove it but it does get full of crud these are notoriously difficult to remove I don't want to break it I'm going to try and wiggle it out if I can starting to bend the plastic no I wish there was some sort of like clip that you could use to pull this out it's full of crud and it's completely caked in so trying to remove it no forget it I'm not going to try and do it I'm not going to break it I'm just going to leave it as it is some of them slide out really easy these ones are not this one isn't so I'm not going to bother so what I'm going to do now is remove the fan instead I've got my spanner Holding it on tight. My flat pick. fan's going to be hard. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit rusted. Pop that there. Oh, actually, no, the fan's coming off nice and easy. It's a miracle. Okay, the two washers, the metal front washer, the small plastic washer on the inside. fan blades are a little bit gnarled but not drastically so that's fine I'll just clean it up it's a bit dusty let me give it a vacuum Now I need to remove the vent at the side. There's a screw on this one. And it's a normal Phillips screwdriver. Now if I use a small flathead screwdriver and then there's a little groove <coughs> there we go that comes out in two parts for washing now I need to remove the motor itself
two screws at the back this one has they've got washers on them and this one has also got the earth wire attached to it Get it through the earth wire, there we are. Now flip it over and there's two more screws on this underneath. And now remove the motor. Just give it a tug. gently ease it out it's a bit dusty but it's in good condition the inside of it is very manky very very manky There we go, totally dismantled, so that's going to go for washing. The only thing I need to do now is to clean up the inside of this, dust it up, clean it up, dismantle this, take these out, clean all these, put them all back together, lubricate them, make sure the spring underneath has got a little bit of grease on it as well, just a little bit, and just generally just give it a bit of a clean up. So that's that. Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm sure I have the tech drive for it, so I'm going to have a look for the tech drive. Okay, so that's the original broken one. And I bought one, I bought two actually, because I got one for the other one as well, which is missing the pedals. And I've opened it up, and it's the, it's got the purple wheels on it, wheel covers on it, with the yellow one gray at the back and this one's got the black part of the back which is which is for this with the yellow but it's got the purple wheels on it so I'm gonna have to get black cap covers because that's what was missing on this one with the with the caps the wheels aren't in excellent condition these are these wheels the tires are in better condition um, but you're not going to see really the inside of it, but I do need to get new caps, so this is what I'm going to use for this 2000, but I'm going to have to get black caps, because it's going to look odd with purple caps, so it doesn't matter, but that's the one I'm going to be putting into it, the new one, <coughs> it comes with the bits there for it, this one's for the next one I'll do. Control again. I'll put that to one side on my shelf. And crack on with cleaning it up. So this is part one. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing next. And um, then I'll do another video then of putting this back together once it's all cleaned and polished. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and um, i'll see you in the next video please subscribe like comment and uh, like i said i have a lot of vacuums to come up with to do i just uh, find the time as and when i can so thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon